supremacists targeted individuals for their religion. The commander in chief, in an Oval Office meeting, referring to people from African countries and Haitians with the most vile and vulgar language. The language festers. When ignorance and bigotry is allied with power, it is a dangerous force in our country. Your silence and your amnesia is complicity. Right now in our nation, we have a problem. I don't know if 73% of your time is spent on white supremacist hate groups. I don't know if 73% of your time is spent concerned about the people in fear in communities in this country. Sikh Americans, Muslim Americans, Black Americans. The fact pattern is clear of the threats in this country. I hurt. When Dick Durbin called me, I had tears of rage when I heard about this experience in that meeting. And for you not to feel that pain hurt, and that pain, and to dismiss some of the questions of my colleagues, saying I've already answered that line of questions when tens of millions of Americans are hurting right now because of what they're worried about what happened in the White House. That's unacceptable to me. There are threats in this country. People plotting. I receive enough death threats to know the reality. Kamala receives enough death threats to know the reality. Maisie receives enough death threats to know the reality. And I've got a president of the United States whose office I respect who talks about the country's origins of my fellow citizens in the most despicable of manner. You don't remember. You can't remember the words of your commander-in-chief. I find that unacceptable. Mr. Chairman, I'm grateful to be on this committee. I'm more than ever today happy I'm here. Thank you. The supremacists targeted individuals for their religion. The commander-in-chief, in an Oval Office meeting, referring to people from African countries and Haitians with the most vile and vulgar language. The language festers. When ignorance and bigotry is allied with power, it is a dangerous force in our country. Your silence and your amnesia is complicity.